All right. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'a Shem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who are well. Uh, peace and blessings and salutations to the Akim after laboring in this truth, man. It's sincerity, okay? Now, um, we're just going to get the scriptures. You know, uh, basically, hey, man, you about to get everything, man. Just wait, all right? A lot of guys are losing patience, man. They don't, you know, they don't want to suffer, man, because they want things easy. You know, and, and what man don't want to be comfortable? You know, you think we all like catching hell? You think you're the only one catching hell? You know, you're not the only one in the truth, man. You, every brother in the truth catching hell, man. It, it'll feel like that because you by yourself a lot of times. But, you know, hey, if, if you patient, man, the Lord about to give you everything, man. All right, go ahead out. Hey, Romans 8 and 32. Said 32, right? Okay. Romans 8 and 32. He that spared not his own son, but deliver him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Right, so the Most High killed his own son for us, man. He sacrificed his own son, you know? You know, you think the Lord wanted to do that, man? But but it had to be done to redeem Israel back, beginning with, with uh, redeeming the elect back, okay? You know what I'm saying? So the, the Most High didn't spare his own son for us, man, so we could be redeemed back to him. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? That means everything. Everything that you want. Everything that you need first, but everything that you want, man. You know? So you don't got to worry about nothing, man. Like, everything that you desire, you're going to get anyway. You know, brother, speak about women. The least thing you're going to have is women. So that's going to be the small thing, man. Women, gonna, women are going to be minute because they're going to be so disposable, man. They're going to be everywhere. You know what I'm saying? All right. Uh, Revelation. Revelation 21 and 7. He that overcome shall inherit all things, and I will be his power, and he shall be my son. Right. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. So you overcome this world, man, by believing in Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, rehearsing the righteous acts, you keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, and you doing his work. The Lord is going to give you everything, man. All right. Read that again. Up. Okay. Back in Revelation 21 and 7. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his power, and he shall be my son. Right, and Yahweh Shai has said that all power is given unto him in heaven and in earth. And it says in uh in Romans 8 and, and 17, we're gonna be joint heirs with him. So if you're gonna in, in, inherit all things, you a joint heir with Yahweh Shai, you're gonna get everything that he that, that he's getting or that he has, alright? Which is the universe, man. All right, and you will never lose your position. All right, if you're an elect man of the Most High, all right, if you're part of 144,000, and if you're uh, an elect person in, in general, okay, whether you're part of the, the one third or the innumerable multitude, okay, you're going to get everything, okay? All things. That's, that's, hey man, we can't even fathom what the Most High can give us, man. You know, we, we can only think so far, we only have access to so much of our brain, we can't even leave the planet right now. So you don't know what's out there, man. Okay? Go ahead. I Job 42 and 12. So the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. Right. For he had 14,000 sheep and 6,000 camels and 8,000 yoke of oxen and 8,000 she asses. Right. So the, uh, the, the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than the beginning. And Job was rich. Job was, was wealthy. You know, he, he, had, he had a lot of cattle. All right, he had sons and daughters. He had servants, okay? He had a, a, a nice house, all right? He had land, and the Lord took all that away from him and made him suffer. But then the Lord gave it all back to him and some. And that's what the Lord is going to do for his elect. Give me uh, Matthew 19, 27. Okay. <clears throat> Matthew 19 and 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? Right, go ahead. And Yahweh shall say unto, unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which shall follow me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones.
thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Right. So the the uh, the disciples of the Lord, the the, the twelve disciples, all right, which are later on called, called apostles, all right, they're, they're going to be ruling right with Yahweh. Okay. That's the that's the elect of the elect right there. You know. So they're going to be sitting on thrones, uh, judging or governing the twelve tribes of Israel, man. So you got the the twelve. And, and their names are going to be written on the gates of the kingdom. We read in Revelation, the 21st chapter, all right? Uh, they're going to be ruling. Uh, you have the, the rest of the 144,000. They're, they're going to be a part of the governing body also. So that's a big thing coming, man, all right? That, that, that's not like, okay? So that, for you to be ruling the, the nation, man, which is going to be a righteous nation, man, that's, that's glory and honor, man. You're going to have a great name, so why would you want to seek vain glory on this side, man? The Lord gonna give you everything if that's what you want. If you if you wanna be exalted, so to speak, you want you want preeminence. You gonna have it in the kingdom, man. First and foremost, it's, but right now it's about you. How about Shimei Shai? It ain't about us. All right. So if you exalt him, you suffer for him. He gonna he gonna give you everything and some, man. Okay. Uh, finish that. Finish up. Okay. All right. Back in uh, Matthew the 19th chapter, and everyone that has forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. So for everything that you forsake on this side, your, your family, old friends, your job, whatever it may be, man, houses, all right, you're going to receive a hundred times as much. A hundredfold mean a, a hundred times as much, man, okay? Uh, get uh, James 4 it's like actually it's James 5 James 5 and 11 James 5 and 11 behold we count them happy which endure ye have heard of the patience of Job and have seen the end of the Lord and the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy right and the brother read about Job how the Lord blessed the latter end of him more than the beginning so you if you suffer you're gonna you're gonna get it back man you're gonna you're gonna get your life back man all right you and hey you think about the shit you had in the world that really wasn't shit anyway and then you was you were suffering when you was in the world and you think about it man that, that, that proved the lord finna get people man all right you caught hell when you was in the world man and, and you you was being a nigga i was being simple but you you would do shit that you weren't supposed to be doing the lord would still whoop your ass man all right so ain't no ain't no escaping man so how much more the Lord gonna get these people? All right, and you, and you be thinking about it like, man, like <laughs> the Lord gotta get through. The Lord, Lord, hey man, I, I ain't escape. You know, so you know the Lord was getting your ass, man, and He getting you now. So either way, you can't escape His hand, man. So it's just best to suffer in this truth, man. To suffer in the world, man. Cause these people gonna get it, man. All right, look, they they not gonna escape. Don't nobody escape. You know, but uh, you gonna close it out on this side. Get a uh, Psalm 27 and uh, 14. Just, just wait, man. That's it. Just wait. Psalm 27 and 14. <clears throat> wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and He shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. So brothers need that reminder, man. Israel hard-headed. You know, and we Israel too, we hard-headed. The Lord ain't changed our minds yet. You know what I'm saying? That's why we gotta fight these demons that's fucking with us, man. We still got that stony heart. But we in this truth, so we can fight it with the scriptures, you know? But but you need that constant reminder, man. Jake hard-headed, so Jay gotta be beating the head sometime, man, with the truth. Wait on the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? And he gonna strengthen you, man. The, uh, did not the Most High strengthen his son? You have a shot, you know, with the angels. The angels ministered unto him. They gave him strength, man, when he was about to catch that hell, man, by going on the cross. You know? So you 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 will be strengthened, man, if you wait, man. The Lord gonna come through when you wait. It's like uh, what they say in the them so called churches, them Harley houses. The Lord might not come when you want him, but he's always on time. Well, that's true. He don't come on your time, but he gonna come when he wanna come through. Sometimes the Lord just wants you to deal with it. And the A, it sucks. It's hard. But uh, just like, you know, the Lord told Elijah, Elijah, yeah, you catching hell, but it's, I, I got 7,000 men that have not bowed to the image of Baal. So you're not the only hopeful elect, man. You know, we all catching it, man. You, you know, this shit suck. Sometimes you want to give up the spirit. But we got to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? So 
You know, brother, got any closing statements? Fight the good fight, man. Just fight the good fight, man. Just wait on the Lord, all right? So, hey, wait on Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. We're going to say the names. All right, so with that, we're going to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. Oh, you brothers, what the fact? The next lesson we say, Shalom.